one of the things that I'll talk about, we're talking about Apple TV preferences, stuff that I like. Let's spend a minute chatting about this, right? We have the Apple TV app and we have the iTunes movies and iTunes TV shows apps. Why do you want to use one versus the other? And I do want to break this out into a dedicated video. So historically speaking on the Apple TV, we had the candy, the candy colored apps, right? The blue and the purple ones. And then along the way, we got this thing. Apple tried to make the Apple TV app, they, as we saw in the settings, right? They try to make it the home screen. They try to make it the main interface to the device. To me, that's terrible. Not every, not all these other services are tied into the Apple TV app. And if it's not universally applicable to everything you have on your system, it's not, it's no good at all. So I only use this thing for allow some of these new sharing things. So I only use the Apple TV app itself for Apple TV Plus and not the, not the library pieces of it. Of course, the library pieces are here, right? You can come in and there's right off the bat a few things that I don't like. One, I don't like how it gives you the kind of like landscape posters. I like my movie posters a little more traditional portrait mode movie poster. I don't like these. It's, it's taken a little while. I've got like a 1500 movie iTunes library. So that's actually pretty darn quick, pretty darn quick for this device. But so instead of a vertical, more traditional cinema feeling movie poster, they did this instead. And I just, I, I don't, to me, I don't like this. So that that's a knock. That's a negative for me. And if you've got some older content, I think more so now, like most most pieces of content have been given, uh, here's one, like, right, a nice looking artwork that fits the aspect ratio. But if if there's content that doesn't, and there's still a decent amount of it that doesn't, they embed like the poster in the middle of the landscape thing. And it's just like for presenting my movie library, I, I don't know, to me, this is like, this is just lame. I, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it presents. Um, if you go in, to start playback you do go through the regular apple tv menus and stuff that's nice at least right so you can get to these movie menu pieces in order um, to get to the extras and all that so it, it still ultimately lands you in the same place it, it still lands you in the same movie the same video player and so on i do like you know the 4k hdr filter i think library management is an area where apple needs to do more uh stuff basically um, Voodoo lets you make custom collections. I would like to be able to make custom collections in here, not just have access to their genres and stuff like that. Yeah, to me, I don't know. I just, I don't like that that UI. So in this watch now page to me is a convolution of like so much stuff. Your up next list gets, all this stuff gets pushed into it. To me, it's a hassle. It's unwieldy. The only thing I ever use this app for is right here. Apple TV specific content. And as we saw in the settings, when I when I hit this home button, I don't want to go here, right? I want to go here. That's that's my strong preference. And so if we go into the movies, iTunes movies app itself, right, the one that everybody knows, still have the store, still have the search, all of that stuff, but over here in purchased, very similar list. It's almost the exact same list, right? But they don't give you the 4k hdr filter anymore here they do tell you the counts it's it's so stupid like why does it's borderline the same uis and one is missing some things and and has other things and the other is missing other things and has other things it makes no sense so i would like to see the 4k hdr entry again i would like to see that collection management i, I like seeing my library counts 1500 movies probably way too many um but portrait right portrait mode uh, portrait aspect movie posters. That's how movie posters are supposed to look. And if you actually go into a piece of content, rather than starting playback, right, you go to this screen. To me, I like this screen, the the this metadata screen. I like knowing the runtime, the year. I get my 4K HDR information here. I really, really like having access to Common Sense Media and Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes could be maybe the the more dubious um, of those, but you know, being able to come in here, I've got younger kids. Sometimes when we're looking for stuff, we consult this. You know, it's not a, it's not a whole truth or an end all be all by any means, but it, it's at least a guide, and you know, we can make our own decisions about what's right for our family and stuff. But I, I, I love having access to the common sense media data, being able to pull, right, pull some of this stuff up, 
and take a look at it, you know, seeing the cast and crew details and being able to go to the bottom and see some technical information about the piece of content and jump around in it. I love the, I love also watched, right? When you're in a piece of content, the, the value of the discoverability. So yeah, to me, personally speaking, I hate the library component of the Apple TV app. I so, so much prefer these iTunes movies and TV shows. And I cross my fingers every TVOS release that they don't take these away. Because at some point in time, I would I fear that that these might get deprecated out and go away. They did it on the Mac, basically, right? The the desktop iTunes historic app as we know it and Mac OS is gone forevermore. And in its place we have the Apple TV app. I actually run traditional iTunes in my in a Windows VM virtual machine on my Mac because I think it, there, there's certain things that I do in it that are just better. So soapbox off.